the king. The king of kings. Surely Jack and Zidi. Now this is the second episode where um well on the new channel the X King 95 TV um or well, probably another more TV in that channel. Well anyways, um as I said the concept remains the same but with no violating the YouTube rules. Well, I have many ideas to see um, a loophole or find another website or even create my own website. But um, each and every idea is actually being studied really well. And hopefully, in the near future, we'll get back in our best concept style and everything will go back as it used to be. But right now we need to stick with the YouTube rules and terms of condition, so I do not to, so I do not get to be suspended one more time. And I like in my mind I feel I got fired, and I was shocked when I saw that because over 100 videos have been deleted, tons and thousands of hours have gone down to the toilets. Thanks a lot, YouTube, and let's get into the Friday night movie on of tonight. And maybe most of you have seen the movie that we'll be releasing today, and which have been released. Anyways, it's entitled Paranormal Activity: The Sequel Part Two, and to me, it was a silly movie. Filming in a cheap camcorder, and um. The movie was not that scary as people made it sound to be. People even said that they ran out in the middle of the movie in theaters and they were just running screaming because it was fucking scary. But it was totally overrated. Just like um, Avatar. And go see the part, the sequel. And of course the movie is starring Katie... What? Katie Featherston, right? Yeah, but Feather Featherstone or Feather Featherston, Feather Feather. Anyways, the movie sucks, and um, well, the question might be: Did I get scared when I watched the first part, the original Paranormal Activity? Well, for the first two weeks. I did get scared, but then I realized that how stupid that movie was and it totally, totally sucked and the money that got spent on that movie with the special effects and all of that was totally not worth it and even people have been saying that the story is real. Wow, idiots. And of course the trailer can be found on the link right below of this video in the YouTube frame and um, go check out the trailer and that's it for a Friday Night Movie on because we only have one movie to be released and probably half of you have gone see it and run out of the theaters. Everything we've learned has come down to this. the next generation of MacBooks. Sounds like it's war wrestling entertainment time, but before going after any brand, I want to talk about Michael Call. He likes to say, I'm the voice of the WWE. He comes on Raw. Mondays, then on Tuesdays NXT, and then on Fridays, Friday Night Smackdown. Now Michael Cole believes that he is better than Jim Ross and he is on, on the contrary, he really sucks because 
He is so negative about many many things and the most important thing is NXT. He keeps saying it sucks and sucks and he keeps showing up. Michael Carl, you are not the voice of the WWE, but on the opposite of that, you are the jackass of the WWE. As Jackass premiered last week, and it is a tremendous 3D movie. Anyways, Michael Carl, I've got two words for ya. Suck it! Anyways, let's head to a brand right now. Now, last Friday, SmackDown premiered on Sci-Fi. Well, it premiered several weeks ago, but the episode got premiered, and, um... We found out that The Undertaker will head toe-to-toe, -to -toe, will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kane in a Buried Alive match. Now, if my memory serves me right, we haven't seen that match for like six years or something like that. And the last time we've seen it, I believe it was McMahon versus The Undertaker, and Taker lost. And each and every time the Buried Alive match happened, it always got Undertaker versus someone. And that someone always wins and Taker ends up buried alive. And I believe that will reoccur this Sunday at Brian Wright's for the World Heavyweight title. And the Undertaker will be buried alive by Kane. And that will be the last time you will see the Undertaker. Now HBK left. Taker will leave Sunday. Hopefully because Taker really sucks after what he did. Well... But I have to let it go, because that was months ago. But HBK, you'll always be remembered. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take it for the skin. It's happening at Bragging at Bragging Out. At, oh my god! At Bragging Rights in um, two days, live on pay-per-view. Now let's head into and review last Monday's Raw. And it was SmackDown invading Monday Night Raw. And it was amazing. Matches have uh, been going on. And SmackDown really, really shocked Monday Night Raw. And right before going to the main event, which was a huge battle royal, but in the right between the middle of that Raw vs SmackDown, the Viper Randy Orton got really, literally terminated. Wow! Each member of the Nexus, I believe, gave the Randy Orton, the Randy Orton, the Viper Randy Orton, uh, his finisher maneuver. Cena was about to give him the AA, but then Wade Barrett got, well, I don't know what he calls his finisher, but anyways, he did it, and I just believe that Randy Orton just got terminated. He was just manhandled by the Nexus, all the whole five of them, or four. Yeah, there are four with, with Cena, five, well, four finishing maneuvers, one after the other, and do not forget that he will, he just came out of a match, and that was really, really sad to see that, because he was just in a match, an attack team match, and, wow, and uh, by the way, the, he, they were facing with um, Cena, and Orton were facing um, Husky Harris and Mike McGillicott in my season two, pick and he didn't win. Anyways, they lost of course and then the Nexus did what they do best. Anyways, let's move on to the main event which was a battle royale and SmackDown owned Monday Night Raw. Yeah! Last year Brian Wright was for SmackDown and I believe Sunday should be for the blue team as I am with the blue team even though I'm wearing a red hat and a red t-shirt. Wow, tough to explain why I'm on Team SmackDown, but my watch is blue right in the middle. Yeah, can you see that? Well, anyways, let's just move into NXT. And the weird thing that happened, and I didn't review last week, which was um, Goldust marrying Oksana. And he gave her the ring this past Tuesday. Wow, just for the imagination thing, did I say it correctly? Anyways, she is from Switzerland or something, and her green card expired, and the paperwork, blah, blah, blah. He wants to marry her. And then Michael Cole says, finally, a reason to watch the show. Not, he makes it really hard. Isn't it enough that it's exclusively on WWE.com? And now we say all this ne negative stuff, and when Vicky comes out, yeah, Vicky, I want to be in your vest. 
What the fuck is going through your mind? Wow. Now, um, NXT is right. The moment it got on WWE.com and to be exclusively on that show, on that um, site and not on a TV channel, and I don't believe that they are winning that amount of money that they used to when they were premiering the show on Sci-Fi. But I think the, the they are going really, really down with their competitions. Limbo, really? And what? Um, the body? What do they call it? I don't know. But there were bodies on the screen, and you were, you should guess them. And last week it was um. WWE tunes, right? Anyways, and it was well in my head. I am, I doubt that there will be a season four, but I believe NXT is even better than Monday Night Raw and SmackDown because they are the future of Raw and SmackDown and the whole WWE. But season four of NXT, which might have males, uh, or another idea, both of them in the same show, which will be harder to make. But anyways, if that happens on season four, if it is female, male, both, I don't care. How will it be for the fans? Will the will the WWE universe be viewing that show or not? Because it's really going down to the toilet. Firstly, I thought season 1 was amazing, season 2 is awesome, season 3 at the beginning was tremendous, and the past couple of shows really made me lose my lunch, or dinner, it depends when I was watching that show. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's head into Friday Night Smackdown as we have just witnessed um, the 4th episode of Smackdown, or 3rd, 4th, no, 2nd, no, no way, 4th, um, let's just say 4th. On Sci-Fi it was another SmackDown owns Raw, yeah baby! Now, um, Brian and Rides did really come early. First on Money I Try and of course on SmackDown it was tremendous. All matches from SmackDown vs Raw, I believe SmackDown won their matches on SmackDown of course. And at the last match which was Edge vs Sheamus, it was a tremendous one. And Everybody got in the match, and of course SmackDown stood tall, and that was the thing that will hopefully happen this Sunday exclusively on pay-per-view. But since last year SmackDown won due to big shows, um, what should I call it? Betrayed? He might betray SmackDown for Raw. Didn't see that one coming? Well, we'll find out SmackDown versus Raw. And they call it Brian Wright's on um, pay view this Sunday. Anyways, let's move on. We've got, like, after this SmackDown Raw series happened on SmackDown and Viper terminates the Big Red Monster Kane. Even though the Viper was totally manhandled by the Nexus past Monday tonight, we saw him battling Kane and he even won thanks to, um, Evil tricks by the Undertaker, and at the end, it, I didn't feel that like it was SmackDown or True Entertainment. I felt like being in a theater in a horror movie like Paranormal Activity. Getting through the middle of the ring or the corner, or anyways, he got from the bottom of the ring, getting out like it's a grave, and pulling Kane. And then at the grand finale, he puts his hand over his bald head and he grabs him down to the toilet maybe, but to the bottom of the ring. But that is truly, to me, not sports entertainment, not entertainment, and just like a fucking scary movie. I look, like the effects are slowing the motion of the video. Oh my god! Oh no! No! Smackdown, or should I say WWE, you have really, really disappointed me. And on Cyber Sunday, haha, <laughs> that's bad rears off. On out, Bragging Rights, I believe you should make me happy and end Undertaker's career, make the blue team win, and of course make Dan Bryan lose because I want the blue team win. So make Dolphy win. 
And I'm not really sure is Natalia on SmackDown or Layla is on SmackDown. Well, either way, the one who is on SmackDown should win. And as you know, the rules are simple to win. Brian White's three matches and the one who gets the more victories will become your sole Brian White owner. That really didn't get on. Well, anyways, that's it for reviewing shows. And I have one more thing about the WWE, and it is really, really big. Um, several weeks ago, Vince McMahon have came up with a new campaign um, regarding the bad things that um, several people in the magazine industry or the newspaper industry or anyone. Um, they really, really t trash talk about the WWE saying that it's not rated PG, it's sexual, and the list goes on and on. So I need you, the WWE Universe and the Extreme Show Universe, to stand up for the WWE because the WWE is what we are, what we do, what we see, what we dream, what we... Well, I'm just listing a lot of adjectives anyways, and um, they're not adjectives. Wait. Well, anyways, I need you to stand up for the WWE. One nation under punks. Well, no, that's the punks line. One nation in the WWE universe. Or oh, should I have said one universe in the WWE? And now we should stand for it, as it have brought us like over 100 years of true sports entertainment in your face TNA. And it's not 100 years; it's less, I believe. But anyways. WWE is an awesome company and speaking of the WWE, SmackDown vs Raw comes out next Tuesday after Brian Wright in a two days and it will be a tremendous video game and also All Stars will be releasing in March 29, no, yeah 29, 29th and 2011 which will be a tremendous match, it's, like, it's just like Mortal Kombat or um, Street Fighter, Endless Fight, it was a tremendous video game and it will be released in March but first in our way is um, Smackdown vs Raw so do not to forget to purchase it next Tuesday and it is a tremendous video game each year THQ and WWE surprise us with a new game with new features and I love the WWE Universe feature or mode and it will be a tremendous video game as I have said once and twice and three times well anyways this is Jack Mazzini signing off right now. Peace out, bitches. Ouch. Well, I'm really, really sorry. But um, before you go, before I sign out again, and before I apologize again, um, I'd like to see you this Sunday on the exclusively... It's not exclusively. Well, it's, it is exclusively on YouTube. But anyways, I would, I'd like to show you... Oh my god, I'm ruining everything. I'd like to see you on the WWE Extreme Bragging Rights Extreme Preview in your face again, TNA. I don't know how this that related. But anyways, I'd like to see you on the preview of that pay-per-view right before Bragging Rights in a few hours. Thanks a lot, and I'd like to apologize for calling you all bitches. And now I'm signing off for the real time. See you all this Sunday.